Today I'm gonna to be showing you the ultimate cinema setup that I've built for my room. Check it out. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I am honestly in love with it, and all of this was thanks to Nebula because they sent me out their new Nebula Cosmos Max to test out, and I am absolutely blown away by it. It's a 4K Ultra HD projector with super immersive Dolby Digital Plus audio, the speakers have been optimized to deliver a 360 degree cinema sound experience right at your home. So a quick summary with this projector. It's a great projector, the sound quality is mind blowing, so you don't need external speakers, and it's got a great design. One of the things that I love on using a projector is that it can get very big, and the Cosmos Max gets up to 150 inches of screen size. and. One of the things that I hate on projectors as well is the quality. So this delivers a huge size and big, big jump in quality. It's also got Android TV built in and that's just perfect. So it's just so easy and so practical to use. So you can take this anywhere and you only have to bring one thing. You don't have to bring speakers. You don't have to bring an external Apple TV. If you want to, you can but it's the all-in-one setup. It's got HDMI ports so you can connect an Apple TV and even, I mean, a PlayStation 5. So imagine this, you're going out camping, you bring on a PlayStation 5, which is what I always do. I always connect an Apple TV to the projectors and all the TVs that I have. Why? Well, you know, I, you know how I am. I use Apple Music, I use Apple TV Plus, I game with Apple Arcade, so all of my services are right there. But that doesn't mean that you need to do that. The Cosmos Max has Android TV. It's also super easy to set up. Usually with projectors, if you bump the projector or something, it will be out of focus. With this, you've literally got an auto focus button. And look at this. It literally does this. It will automatically focus to whatever you're displaying your projector on. It's it's kind of crazy. I mean, all the technology built into this product, it's 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 crazy. Let's talk about the design because just look at it. It looks like it has a freaking galaxy on top of it. You can really tell that they took design into consideration and that's a very important for me at least because I'm putting this in my home and everything that comes in the lemon home has to be aesthetically pleasing. I've also been using the X Gaming Horizon Pro, which is probably the best equivalent to the Cosmos Max. They're probably the best projectors in the world out there right now, as of the time that I'm filming this video. And it's also an amazing projector, but for the money that you're paying for, well, the specs are pretty much the same in both. One has its ups and downs and one thing has its ups and downs. But if we're talking about price, the Cosmos Max is more affordable. So the clear winner, if they both have practically the same specs, is the Cosmos Map. The Horizon Pro has a lot of the same features. It's also 4K, it can also go up to 150 inch, it also has autofocus feature, and it also has Android TV, and it also has incredible audio. And the design, the design of this one kind of looks like a brick. I mean, I don't think it's an ugly design, but the other one just looks like a freaking spaceship, and in my opinion, I like the other one so much better. The brightness of both devices is very similar, but the power is kind of different of the sound because the Cosmos Max will go up to 40 watts, while this guy will only go at 16 watts. So that's a big difference. The other one sounds so much incredibly better. The other one, it will literally shake your room. This one, it will shake your room a little bit. Also, if we're talking about sound quality, the Cosmos Max also has Dolby Digital Plus certification with Sound Dimension Stereo Sound. So they both are 4K and use LED technology. They both feature Android TV, which is extremely useful. And the Anchor Nebula Cosmos Max though has a max brightness of 1500 lumens, while the Xgami has a max brightness of 2200 lumens. Now, I'm gonna let you decide on which one actually looks better, so you be the judge. Wrapping this up, I truly love the Nebula Cosmos Max. And I'm not, I'm not saying because this is a horrible product. I'm not saying that at all. This is probably equal, as good as the Nebula Cosmos Max, but you're saving the money. So let me actually show you my setup and let me show you the Nebula Cosmos Max in person. I'm just gonna warn you though, my room looks kind of sexy right now with the projector and everything. So yeah, don't get jealous because it's truly the best thing in the world. Okay, so let me show you my room. Let me show you my setup on the way that, you know, I put everything into my setup. I purchased this 100 inch um, projector 
white blanket type of thing. It looks awesome in my room and once again, like I just literally chill here and I've got this massive, massive um, screen in my room. I got this thing out of Amazon. Now, it's not the best thing in the world, but it is very cool. I'll show you B-roll right now. Basically gives you like this stars vibe and it fills your um, walls and stars. It's very, very cool and it really gives the vibe um, in your entire room. Here's the Nebula Cosmos Max in person. It looks absolutely stunning. It's massive and it's very, very heavy. That's why I picked up this tiny tripod thing, which I like this. I can like change it um, and move it around, which is super cool. Once again, you don't need speakers since this guy actually has crazy, crazy speakers. But I do have, hold on, I do have a HomePod mini over there because I have HomePods all around my house. So whenever I play music, you know, there's also music in my home. Got an Apple TV hooked up to the Nebula. So why did I decide to choose Nebula instead of the projector that I was mentioning before? Well, it's more affordable and it has better value and I'm just so incredibly happy and the design. The design just looks absolutely stunning. So I was mentioning before this stargazing thing over here that we have looks amazing. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That's pretty much it for my setup. Thank you so much for watching. Be happy because life is good and I'll see you in the next one. Apple, 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 peace.